has promised uh, is a lawn video. Now, uh, this video has got two lawns on it. The first one is this, what we'd class as a postage stamp lawn. And the next one's just a little bit bigger. But this first one, you're gonna see cut, a whole lot done in real time. And as you can see, it's rather damp. This was Wednesday and everything was just sodden and the day just got worse basically i've actually turned the brightness up on this video it was that sort of gloomy and i think by lunchtime i was going from job to job with the headlights on it sort of turned into sort of uh, misty fog stroke mizzle so i quickly ran the blower over this this little lawn and quick stream round. You will notice I've not got a guard on the streamer. Now that doesn't mean it's right not to. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend you run a streamer without a guard. It's just how I do it though. I know sort of some some people, I'm not saying everyone, but I know some people don't like doing these little tiny lawns. Um, I don't mind doing them actually. Uh, sometimes they are the easiest. They're only profitable though if you've got them all in the same area. When I did, this was the first one of the day. I think I did about four or five, in, all in the same village. Um, the next one, you'll, the next lawn you'll see would be the second one I did and they're done at a minimum i ain't gonna say what price but they're done at a minimum price and you, you can do them so quick you know hour, hour and a quarter i think it took me to do the four and uh yeah they're, they're good jobs to do i think i mean i do like doing the big lawns as well but uh these these sort of little lawns are um they're a good little money maker really from uh, from my point of view Plus, mostly because they're sort of retired people, they're in and they pay you there and then as well. Where a lot of the time you mess around sending invoices and emails, sorting payment out, um, you know, they, they pay there and then, which is always good. This was actually the last cut of this particular little lawn this year. Um, so last week, it, apart from Friday, everything was just so damp and I've actually had to keep off quite a few lawns because it's quite sandy soil around here and the ground's got so soft now, uh, the lawns are going to start rutting and they're going to rut real bad so you sort of have to pick your moment or choose which lawns you want to go on and sort of some of the, should we say, say better lawns but you know the all, all lawns are important because they all pay you but um, you know some of some of the I suppose you say posher lawns I, I sort of kept off this particular week this is uh, the 16 inch husky and to be honest um, I won't say wet, that's wrong. I'd say very damp lawns, it cuts really well. Uh, it, don't, it don't drop, which uh, we, we all know, you know, that's usually the worst thing, isn't it? When you're going along and you see wet clumps of grass dropping out the bottom of the mower to one side. So, but I've never had that problem with this so far, touch wood. 
but as I say, that's very damp grass. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say wet because everyone's definition of wet grass is different. You know, um, if it was sheeting down with rain, this I personally don't think this would be the best mower for for the job. But heavy dew, etc. You know, it's it's a good mower for it. And it's actually surprising how big a lawn you can cut with just a six inch, 16 inch mower. It really is. And here we are on the second one. Again, very wet. I've run the blower over it just quickly and sort of pushed them leaves onto the lawn, so uh, tidies it up at the same time. I'd, I'd like to just give a quick shout out to uh, Mr. Gardener18. If you want to want to check his stuff out, he's uh, he's doing some good stuff. And Gary Chapman Gardening. Um, new channel check them out you know they're doing good stuff and uh, give them a little bit of support I actually strim this bit of grass near the drive twice you can't actually see it with the camera but it's actually sort of a bit of a hump to it and uh, if, if I try to cut it off with a mower I'll end up scalping so uh, I sort of run the strim around twice on that bit I was actually watching, I can't remember whose video it was the other day, and they were talking about websites, and I have a website, and they they really do work. Um, <laughs> I actually got a phone call Thursday afternoon, and probably like a lot of you, when the phone rings you look at it, see if it's a call centre first or not, and it actually came up as Athens, Greece. So uh, I actually answered it out of curiosity, and it uh, it was a company who wanted someone to cut some grass next year. Um, they said it was a, as a large amount of grass need cutting, and being uh, the good gardener, I sort of got them pound pound signs in the, in the in the back of my head, and sort of talking to him. It was actually a new solar farm. Um, I drive past it once a week. Um, I sort of, I thought uh, probably a bit big for me, but I sort of spoke to him, and then he turned around and said that the site was actually seven and a half acres of grass had to be cut. So um, that's just a little bit big for me. Uh, you know, I could look into hiring machinery and such like, but it's, it would have been fine in the time as well. So I actually passed his, the number on to a mate of mine. But uh, it, it just goes to show, you know, websites do get seen and, and you know, all over the world. And uh, I mean, I, I do get inquiries from um, 100, 150 miles away because they've got properties around here or in companies who are a long way away. So, um, and, and often they can be good jobs. I thought I'd just share that one with you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when when he said seven and a half acres, I thought, oh, bugger. <laughs>
just sort of once round the outside and uh, job's a good one. I hope, hope you enjoyed and uh, just like to say thank you to everyone for subscribing and liking. It's, uh, it's always much appreciated. Thank you.